In this video, we'll add the missing piece of the puzzle for our Journey Planner app so that we can show the directions to get from one place to another on Google Maps. Hey everyone, I'm Zueb Khan and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we added a card view for showing our place details in a user-friendly way. In this part, last part of our series, we're going to add the map to our app which will show the selected places and the directions with the help of the Google Maps Directions API. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create our map display component which is going to show on our UI. So we're going to do ng g c and components and we're going to call it map display great we have our map display component here let's go into that and start adding our functionality so the first thing that we're going to do is to add our two inputs for this the first input is going to be the from location this is going to be the place search result or it could also be undefined we'll also have a two in the same pattern great next we're going to just show a simple google maps uh, here so just so we can test the layout so we are going to include our google maps module here in our imports for this component once we import this google maps module let's just show a simple google maps here something like this google map and let's give it a width and height of 100 percent so that it fills up the space of the container height of 100% and then also let's add a default zoom to it we are going to keep a variable called zoom here so let's add a zoom here which we are going to give a default value of 5 okay so this is a basic setup of that map display component before adding any functionality so let's just see how it looks like and let's go back to our app component and we are going to add this to our display area but first we will need to import it in our standalone component so we are going to call it map display component imports let's add it to our display area now we're going to say app map display here great let's uh, um, leave the inputs for now uh, but do, we do need to add some styling to it so inside the display area as a child selector we are going to directly target the map display component here with its selector app map display and here we're going to give it a width of 70 percent so that it covers 70 percent of the screen and then we're going to give it a height of inherit so that it fills up the existing space that we have okay now let's test this out to see how it looks like and yes we can see that our map is present here great so we have a basic map shown here with nothing set up but just a zoom Great, now let's move on to the next step of our map display and that is to get the directions for our places. Now we can have three cases for our map display component and we need to handle all three of them. For the first case, we have uh, the case that the from and the to location both are set correctly. So both are uh, not undefined, that means both have some value. So where do we add the logic for um, handling this case is we are going to do it in ng on changes because this is the lifecycle event which is called when any of our input changes so let's add a handler here called ng on changes and we are going to add the code here so first we are going to get the locations of our inputs and we are only interested in the locations because that is all we need for getting the directions and the markers on the map so here we are getting the location of the from and then we are getting, going to get the location of the to great and then the first case that i told you about would be whether we have the from location and we also have the two location this means that we can show it show the directions between these two locations okay so to do that we are going to create a new function and we are going to call it get directions so let's add a new function here and as an input to this function we are going to give a from location which would be google.maps.latlong this would be a location type the two would also be a google.maps.latlong okay and then we are going to just call this get directions along with the from and the to location great now before doing anything in the get directions we need to add the map direction service which is bundled in our google maps module so we're going to add it to our constructor here we're going to call it directions service and map direction service great and then uh, inside of the get direction service the first thing we're going to do is to add a request we're going to create a request now this request is of the form of google.maps.directions request and this takes in an origin this will be our from then it takes in 
a destination this will be our two and then the third thing it requires is a travel mode the travel mode specifies whether uh, you want the directions for a person who is walking or a person who is driving so in our case we are going to send it a travel mode of driving great so we have a request here how to send this request we are just going to use this direction service dot root function now this root function takes in the request object that we just created and is going to give back uh, the result the directions result and how uh, does this give back the result we are going to use the map operator and the response we are going to convert it to the result and obviously we need to show it on the google maps so we are going to store it in a variable uh, let's just first get this back and add a subscribe block and now here we are going to store it in a variable so we are going to create a variable here called directions result this will be of the type of google.maps.directions result or it could be undefined for the initial value okay so for the directions result we are going to do this dot directions result is equals to result great so we have our direction result stored here whenever we have our from and to input values available but how do we show this on the map so to show this on the map google maps uh, module here provides us a map directions renderer pretty convenient we just need to add this and then pass it the directions in its directions input so we're going to do directions result and also it says that okay it may be undefined so we are going to also add a check for the direction result being undefined so great and that's just about it to test this out we are going to go back in our app component and remember we didn't add our inputs yet so we are going to add our inputs in from here we are going to give it from value and in our two here we are going to give our two value great let's test this out now and see how it looks okay so we we see an open map here and then we go in for example we select london eye here and then the next one we select as imperial college here and we can see that the directions api works and we can see a pretty nice directions result being rendered on the google maps and it was that easy okay so the third thing that we need to do is uh, to handle what happens when we remove a place so for example if we remove imperial college here this card gets removed because the value removes but the directions say stay the same now what we would like for the map to show the place that we do have selected and with a the marker there and zoomed in all the way so let's add that functionality so to do that we are going to go back to our map display component and let's add a new variable which is going to be called the marker position so this marker position is going to be google dot maps dot lat long and we're going to also give it an undefined value because we don't know uh, initially it might be undefined great now let's handle the two cases where we only have one location available so here we are going to do else if from location then we're just going to show the location and then when we have two location we're just going to show the two location here now to show the locations we don't uh, uh, only want to show the location but we also want to navigate to that location so let's do all of this in a function here and let's call this go to location this location is going to take in the location which would be google.maps.latlong and here what we do um, first let's call it from here let's call it with the from location and here let's call it with the to location so what we're going to do here is very simple we already have a variable marker position we're just going to assign it to our location but remember um, we also need to show it on the map so how do we show it on the map very simple uh, just like map directions renderer we have a map marker component available as well and let's show that here and the marker has a position input here we can give the marker position variable that we already have and as always it says that it could be undefined so we are going to give it a check of whether the marker position is defined great so this is show the ma marker on the map but as i said before as well that we also need to pan to that place because the map might not be on that location at that time so we need to add a template variable which will refer to that map here in our template and in our component code we are going to add a view child decorator here let's um, call it map and let's give us it a static value of true because the map will always be there let's call it map and we are going to call it a google map component here we need to import it from google maps and let's also give it a definite 
assignment operator to this okay so uh, now we can use this map um, variable to pan our position towards that same location that we want so here we are going to do this dot map dot pan to this is a function provided by google maps and we can just send in the location here okay now along with this when we have a single location we can also use a closer zoom so that it looks better so we are going to give the zoom value of 17 here as well and also when we have a single location like this we want to remove any other directions render that we already had set so we are going to give a directions render directions result of undefined as well great and vice versa we also want to clear any markers that we have when we get a directions result so we're going to give the marker as undefined as well here in the directions result great so now let's test to see uh, how this all works out and let's see we have a location so when we go for for example um london eye once more we can see the river cruise we get this okay yes and we can see that when we do london eye river cruise and we select it it first shows us our london eye river cruise with a map, map marker and when we add imperial college next to it we can see that we get our whole directions and the map goes smoothly from one place to the other and if for example we remove one of them we are going to go back to that location in fact it pans to that location so this looks nice but if we remove both of them nothing happens to handle this case in which we don't have any location set we can add a small modification which does not show the map when we have no location to show so let's go in our app component and add a hidden attribute on the div display area this attribute will be set when we have the from value and its address as false and also the to value and its address as false this means we don't need to show the map then we also need to add a style for this so we're going to add a style for display area along with the hidden attribute so when the hidden attribute is set we want the display property of this to be none instead of the flex which is the default here okay let's test this out now when we enter our location here so for example we are going to add london eye we have our location set but when we remove this we can see that the map is no longer shown and then we will add imperial college again so that we can and then we go to river thames and we can see that we have our beautiful directions here so all the while now we are keeping our map in sync with the state of our app Great, so that was a simple journey planner app built with Angular and the Google Maps APIs. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the journey planner app, no pun intended. Now if you want, you can also show other important information about the journey such as the distance and other information you get from the direction service. You can make the planner as useful as you want. So go ahead and build upon this simple app and make it more useful. If you like this video, please subscribe so that I can bring more such videos for you. Thanks for watching, until next time, have a nice day.